Have you been having a difficult time hooking your Canon ADD up to Cam Link? Well, stick around. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. My name is Aaron. For those of you who don't know, I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if I don't answer anything in this video, feel free to stop by, check it out, or ask me any questions that you might have. Links will be in the description below. To start off, you're going to need a few things to hook up your Canon 80D to a Camlink 4K. First thing you'll need is the Camlink 4K. Uh, you can get this off of Elgato's website, but because of the corona pandemic, Right now they have been hard to come by, so you might have to buy them from a secondhand source. The second thing you're gonna need is gonna just be your base Canon 80D with any stock lens kit, and then you'll be ready to go. We do need two other attachments for this setup to work correctly and efficiently, so let's switch over and I'll show you what those are right now. One of them is going to be an HDMI uh, to mini HDMI. This will plug into your camera. This side will plug into the Camlink 4K. And then we, I just recommend a constant power supply for your Canon 80D. You should buy a Canon branded constant power supply. However, I have used off brands before in my Canon 80D and have had no issues with it. Uh, your mini HDMI will plug into the typical HDMI port on the Camlink 4K and that will go into a USB 3.0 on your PC. I also wanted to show that the mini HDMI uh, will actually plug into this HDMI out in the side of the camera, and that's what will go into the HDMI in on the Camlink 4K. So just in case you get confused, that is where it will be in relation to the ADD on the camera. So now that you have all your parts plugged into your camera, into the Camlink, into the PC, you can now open up OBS or Streamlabs OBS and you can set up a new scene and you just add cam link as your camera source and then everything should show up. Uh, however, the first time you start a scene using cam link in OBS or Streamlabs OBS, it will look like this. This isn't ideal, but it's extremely easy to fix with just the click of a few buttons. So in order to get all of these taken off of your image, it's relatively easy. So to get rid of all of those extra pieces of detail that we don't need and to get a clean HDMI out, there's this info button. Once we click this info button once, twice, maybe three times, it will actually remove the amount of data that you see on screen coming into your uh, new camera source. So let's click that a few times and let me show you what that looks like. So on my first click of the info button, it pulled up this. We don't need that, so let's click it again. Second click, it took it all away. So the only bad thing about the Canon 80D is you will not be able to use autofocus with your lens without getting rid of this white box that you see in the middle. So in order to get rid of this white box, you do have to switch it over to manual focus. So we will not be able to use autofocus on the Canon. So let's try and get rid of that right now. In order to get rid of the focus on this camera, you'll actually see on the lens, there's two separate switches here. The bottom one is image stabilization. That's fine to keep that on. And then the top will say AF or MF, which is autofocus or manual focus. We just wanna make sure that we switch that over to manual focus. Now that we've switched that over to manual focus, you can now see that it might look blurry. Uh, you just have to adjust the focus manually on your lens and you're good to go. So now that you're all set with your clean HDMI out, no additional information on the screen. There's really only a few honorable mentions that I have left. One thing that I have noticed with Canon 80D is a purple screen when you start up your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS and you turn your camera on. I've found I've been able to remedy this situation just by turning the camera off and turning it back on again. If that doesn't work, I'll unplug uh, the Camlink 4K and that usually resolves the issue as well once I turn everything back on and hook everything back up. The only other thing that I'll mention as well is if you go into your menu, you will want to go to your power settings and you will want to turn off an automatic timeout, otherwise your camera will turn off. And as long as you're hooked up to that uh, alternate power source, you should be good to go. I really do hope that this video has helped you. I hope you have been able to set up your ADD to the Camlink 4K. If I've missed anything or you have any additional questions, like I said, feel free to stop by the stream in my Discord or just leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.